Are you sick of living in the shadow of someone else? Need some help learning to love yourself and tap into your unique strengths or embrace your leadership potential so you can thrive in your life. This is Empower with Nancy. Let's start the show. Oh. Balancing Act, work-life integration for female entrepreneurs. Running a business and maintaining a personal life, finding just that perfect balance can feel like a myth, right? So let's talk about how to blend these two worlds more seamlessly. And sometimes it can be quite challenging. So I'm super excited to kind of really go through my own personal experience and share it with you. Let's talk a bit about my own story. So when I launched my business, I was so excited and so driven Like I have been wanting to be a life and business coach for many, many, many years. As I was working in corporate America, I was doing a lot of coaching and I poured every ounce of my energy into making it succeed. I failed. I've gone through challenges. I've hired so many different people that I thought would be a great fit. And sometimes they're not a good fit. You even know you have a really good connection, but don't beat yourself up over that. You've got to be able to take your time and not rushing into things because of the excitement that you have. Because there's so, as an entrepreneur and business owner, so many shiny objects out there that we all want to try. And just the social media itself can be extremely overwhelming. Like, oh, you have the best marketing. We could do the AI. We can do this. Your best funnel, best business funnel, best marketing funnel, you know, trying all these different things. And you can tend to get lost during it and overwhelming and you lose clarity within your business. Then you tend to constantly work in your business, right? Instead of on your business. So I realized my personal life was really slipping through the cracks for me because I was so immersed in focusing on my business, like 24 seven, like even when I put my head on the pillow, my mind was running, running, running. If I got a really good idea, what did I do? I would run down into my office and just start working. Doesn't that sound familiar? That's when I knew I had to make a change for myself. And that is the integration, not separation. It really became my mantra. First, let's really clarify what work-life integration means. Unlike balance, which suggests as an even split, right? And integration is about blending your work and your personal life so that they complement each other. It's about flexibility. It's about the freedom. So how do we achieve this in our entrepreneurship? And I'm going to talk about the four things that were really important for me. And for some of you, there might be a million different things, but I like to keep things very simple. I am a very driven woman. And I really try to focus on 100% clarity. That is a challenge for me. I'm going to be quite honest with you. It's like I focus on exactly what I want and then I get bored of it and I want to go to the next thing. I want to go to the next thing. And then it sometimes can confuse my working within my business. So Number one is set boundaries. It's crucial to set boundaries between work and personal life. For example, I turn off work notifications after 7 p.m. I have a very bad habit of constantly living in my phone, 
checking my emails from clients. I want to make sure that when my client reaches out to me that I'm right there giving them a quick answer, but that's not always the best thing to do. You have to set the boundaries to knowing when you're going to start work, when you're going to end it, when you're going to spend time with your family, quality time with your family, because there's one thing that I did that I really got a wide awakening from my son. Actually, I have two kids. My, my daughter's 29. My son is 22 now, but when they were younger, when I worked at corporate America, I was a workaholic. I'm still a workaholic. I would go to work, work 12, 13, 14, sometimes 15 hours a day, come home, make dinner, make sure the kids are taken care of, spending some time with the family, go back to work, get up, go back and do the same thing over and over and over and over again. I don't even know how I did not just get so exhausted and burned out. I just, my, I remember my dad used to tell me, honey, don't over exhaust yourself. I worry about you. But one day when my son got hurt at a job, at that time, he was a supervisor for UPS and he got hurt and it was something that he didn't make the right choice and the right decision as a supervisor and actually got walked up into a conveyor belt and he slipped and fell and he could have cut his leg off. And his boss at that time said, I want you to write a letter to somebody that actually, that really, really, really cares for you. Someone that cares for you, that if something was to happen, what would you want to tell that person? And so my son wrote the letter and I did not read the letter, but he did talk to me about saying there is one thing that I wish I could have had was more time, quality time with my mom, because my mom was a workaholic, but she gave us everything supportive, everything that we've ever wanted. But I try to go through all the baseball games, football games, being involved, but there was a lot of times that I couldn't. So that's where my husband came into play and, you know, went and took my son to practice and what have you, but makes a long story short. He wished he would have had more quality time with mom Monday through Friday, not just the weekends or not just at night. So keep in mind for some of you are entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs or any entrepreneur, and you have a, a, you're just starting a family and your kids are young. Just remember work will always be there tomorrow and just know the boundaries of when to turn it off and spend that quality time because we cannot rewind and get back the day before, right? Every day is a new day. So the previous day is past. So can we never get that back? So by really turning off my notification with social media and everything, this has helped me focus on my family and recharge for the next day. Number two is create a flexible schedule. One of the perks of being an entrepreneur is flexibility. And boy, I absolutely love it. But you are your own boss. So if you are not working in your bid, like working on your business in your business, and then you don't make money. So You can't just depend on somebody else knowing that you're going to have that paycheck every single time. But I have to tell you that flexibility is so freaking motivating and inspiring. So use it to your advantage. I schedule my work around most productive times and personal commitments for myself. I love to start my day early and get things done like right away. Do I procrastinate from time to time? I do, but I know as soon as I recognize it, I get it going. I create, I'm old school to this, and some of you might do this, but I've always done this. And if I don't do it, I feel completely lost. Is I make myself, I write a to-do list 
for the next day. So I know exactly what I need to do for the next day. It helps me stay organized and it helps me, you know, kickstart my day with clarity and knowing exactly what I need to do. Make it simple. Don't make that to-do list that 20 items that you had to do three weeks ago. Like, no, you should not have something on your everyday to-do list that was back from three weeks ago. So keep it current, consistent, and achievable. That's what really works best for me. And number three is prioritize self-care. Boy, this is a big one. You can't pour from an empty cup, right? So make time for activities that you know, rejuvenate yourself. For me, as soon as I wake up in the morning, I have my morning routine. And I highly suggest that everyone should have a morning routine to keep it simple with clarity, knowing exactly what you need to do instead of hurried up, getting up out of bed, rushing into the shower, hurrying up and getting ready, jump in the car, and you're taking off like a bat out of hell to get to work on time. (laughs) No, don't do that. Because then you're just really kickstarting your day onto the wrong path. So I like to get up in the morning. I put my feet on the floor. I thank God for another day. And I make my bed. And I do a 15-minute workout that I absolutely love. I find on YouTube. I do a 15-minute workout and a stretch that really wakens up my body and helps with the blood flow. And then I like to take a walk. So I take my walk 15 minute, really it's about 15 to 20 minute walk in the morning. And if I don't have the opportunity to do it in the morning, I will do it in the evening. So I am organized and ready to start my day with clarity. Find what works best for you. You don't have to do certain things in certain orders, but just to know that you're doing it, whatever you say you're going to do, you do. So practice what you preach. And have some type of routine that you do. Lastly is leverage technology. Use the tools and apps to streamline your task. I rely on project management tools like a business calendar. And what I do with that is I block my times. I look at, okay, from 8 to 10, you know, I'm working on admin or from 1030 to um, 1130 or 1030 to 1230, I'm calling clients. I like to use my business calendar so that I know that my business is working and I'm not forgetting to add something to my calendar. It keeps me on task. So I have my coaching business and I also have another business that I have gone into a joint business venture with a really good friend of mine. Uh, I balance both businesses. So really making sure that you build a business calendar and time blocks really help me organize my, my day efficiently. This really minimizes the time spent on admin tasks because when you don't have a a business calendar or clarity of what you need to do, you tend to do things all over the place. You'll do a little bit of admin, a little bit of client stuff, a little do marketing, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And next thing you know, you look at your clock, your watch, and it's five o'clock. And you're like, what the hell did I just do today? (laughs) So I I also focus on working on my business instead of constantly working in my business. This is really a challenge for me at times. Like I had said earlier, it's important to work on and not in your business. One other thing I wanted to go over was delegating and outsourcing. You don't have to do everything yourself. Remember, going, starting a business, you already have a business, you need a team to help you with your business. If you don't, you're going to be on your own island and you are going to be all over the place and not organized and you're not going to be able to scale your business the way you want it. Again, you don't have to do it all yourself. So whether it's hiring a virtual assistant or delegating tasks to your team, whatever that may look like, I have 
uh, two virtual assistants that are extremely helpful. Uh, one works on a lot of my content. Another works on a lot of my posting and social media. Um, and then I do a lot of recording. So they kind of help me with that marketing and a lot of social media marketing. So, and I absolutely love it. Now, let me share a personal experience. There was a time where I felt guilty about not spending enough time with my family, like I told you earlier. So I like to get my husband involved, my kids involved. Um, from time to time, my daughter doesn't live with us. She's married and has her own family, but she does. I like to bounce things off of her. Um, I've actually had my son help me with podcasts that we just absolutely had a blast. And uh, like I said, my daughter is really good with marketing. So uh, sometimes it's hard to work with your family because they're like, oh, mom, you got to do it this way. You got to do it that way. And then I put my mom gear in, in, in mode and I'm like, no, we got to do it this way. You got to do it that way. <laughs> So, but it does, it's fun. It, it, I, you make it enjoyable. I do make sure again, I shut down everything by six o'clock. So it gives me time to make dinner for my family and we sit down and eat dinner together. We'll enjoy and watch a movie. My husband and I like to do the Netflix movies that we like to watch. And then we love to go and get yogurt. So uh, do we do it all? Every week, every day, absolutely not. So it's a treat. Maybe we'll do it once a month. So another piece of advice for you is to really keep yourself grounded with clarity, knowing exactly what you want. Integration isn't perfect. And there will be days when work takes over. And that is okay. So don't beat yourself up with that. The goal is to find a rhythm that works for you, not to achieve perfection. Okay, let me say that again. The goal is to find a rhythm that works best for you, not to achieve the perfection. I love to hear from you. And how do you integrate work and life for yourself? What challenges do you face and what strategies have worked best for you? Send me your stories or suggestions. Email it to me at empower with. Nancy D is in David at gmail.com. Empower, that's E, E is in Edward, M is in Mary, P O W E R, with Nancy, N A N C Y, D is in David at gmail.com. And I will feature some of my next topics on some of the suggestions. What is it that you would love to hear? That is it for today's episode of Balancing Act. Remember, Work-life integration is a journey, not a destination. Keep experimenting, keep adjusting, and find what fits right for you. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and leave us a review. Your feedback helps us create content that supports you in your entrepreneur journey. And remember, you can have and do anything you want. You just need to believe that you can. Until next time, with gratitude, Nancy. Thank you for listening to my podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, leave a rating and review, and share it with a friend. To connect with me and get all the behind the scenes content, you can follow me on Instagram at Empower with Nancy and visit my website, empowerwithnancy.com to learn more about how coaching with me can significantly enhance your life and business. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. See you next time.